dry volume and wet volume are simple and incredibly important concepts that every civil engineer and quantity surveyor should know. They essentially help us when determining the quantity of sand, cement and aggregates required on a project. And in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between dry volume and wet volume and how you can use them when determining the quantity of sand, cement and aggregates required on a project. Basically, dry volume means a mixture of materials in a dry condition without water, whereas wet volume means a mixture of materials in a wet condition with water. Dry mixed concrete will be a mixture of cement, sand and aggregates and then dry mixed mortar will simply be a mixture of cement and sand. When water is added to this, then it becomes wet mix. When water is applied or added to a dry mix, the volume of the dry mix reduces by 54%, meaning dry volume is equal to wet volume plus 54% of wet volume, which can be simplified as 1.54. This concept also applies to mortar. Cement simply mixed with sand is a dry mix volume, so when you add water, this mix reduces by 30% to 35%, so on average, we consider 33%. In simple terms, when you have 1.54 cubic meters of dry mix and then you add water, it reduces by 54% and then you remain with 1 cubic meter. For example, if we want to cast concrete for a slab of 100 cubic meters volume, the concrete we cast is wet volume. Therefore, what we mix before adding water should be 154 cubic meters, such that after adding water, we can remain with only 100 cubic meters. Just the same way we have done for concrete, it also applies to mortar. Dry volume here is equal to wet volume plus 33% of wet volume, which can be simplified as 1.33. For example, when you want 100 cubic meters of mortar, which is wet volume, to get dry volume, you simply get 100 cubic meters multiplied by 1.33 to get 133 cubic meters. In summary, when water is added to a concrete mixture of sand, cement and aggregates, the volume reduces by 54%, whereas when you add water to a dry mix of cement and sand, the volume reduces by 33%. When you want to convert wet volume concrete into dry volume, simply multiply wet volume by 1.54 to get the dry volume. 1.54 is a constant. Similarly, when you want to convert wet volume mortar into dry volume, simply multiply wet volume mortar by 1.33 to get the dry volume mortar. Use 1.33 as a constant. We shall use this concept of dry volume and wet volume in other upcoming videos. That's the end of this video about the difference between dry volume and wet volume. I hope you get something from it. Watch this next video about how to calculate the quantity of sand, cement and water required for plastering.